Welcome to our tour and review of Smile House in Fisherman's Village, Koh Samui, Thailand. In this video we show you how to get from the airport, we discuss location and food and all the facilities at Smile House including the swimming pool and the grounds and we also give you a tour of three different categories of rooms available at Smile House. Right then. Right then. Sawadi Car. Yes, yeah, Sawadi Car from Thailand. Koh Samui, Thailand actually, and a hotel called Smile House. We've just spent the last 14 nights here, haven't we, Paulie? Yeah. So let's tell you all about it in this review and tour. Location. We are in a place called Fisherman's Village. In, on Bopat Beach, so it's the north of the island of Koh Samui. It's around about seven kilometres from the airport. Very easy to get here. We booked our flights and our transfer with our travel agent, Dan, but if you were just getting here and wanted to get a taxi you can find one for about 500 baht which is how much probably you've been doing all conversions 500 baht 40 baht to the pound as near as you can get slightly better in a few different places so 400 baht is 10 pound so 500 baht is 12 pound 50 yeah so it's, it's not expensive to get from the airport we have friends living on the island called julia mark who kindly gave us a taxi driver called gims they didn't give us a taxi driver they gave us a taxi driver's number they did and he's been looking after us for the two weeks and he's worked out a little bit cheaper so do let us know if you want his details and if you do find a good taxi driver just keep them and it's easy to converse now in whatsapp isn't it totally but I we do, I do remember sorry to interrupt you but the taxi prices are for four people so it's up to four people yeah and we've had game and we've had eight people with us and it's yeah. been costing the same hasn't it yeah. but back to location right on walking street in fisherman's village you'll find smile house it's perfect location i can't think of a a better hotel on this strip can you that's no, a that's better fabulous. location you're literally steps away from the beach you're right on walking street fisherman's village is known for its night market which happens on a monday wednesday and friday and it's literally you come out the hotel turn left and it's now on a street that goes down to the main street to the main road through Beauput. It used to be, when we were here before, which was about five years ago, it used to be all through the walking street, didn't it? And it's a great night market. If, you, if you've if you been to Thailand, you'll know what we mean. It's just full of food stores, music, little pop-up bars, and it's great. So from a location point of view, can't fault Smile House, can yeah, we, at perfect. all? Right, at the Smile House, you'll find two swimming pools. One right to the front of the property by reception, which is a really large swimming pool that has a shallow end and obviously a deep end. But it also, I know, that sounds a bit silly, but some don't, do they? Because the second pool actually is a lot deeper, which we'll go into in a minute. But the first big pool, which we've spent most of our time, is a lovely quiet area. There's no music. It's just really, really quiet. Well. Until, until, the, we until the age of us get there. Yeah. It's got a little jacuzzi area and a little shallow pool as well, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's it's just a, it's a fantastic space. Get sun all day. There are umbrellas for shade and some trees as the sun moves over. We've spent so much time at the pool, haven't we, Paulie? We've loved it. In fact, we've got these inflatable hammocks, which I'll put a link in the description. Where are you going, Paulie? I'm always going to show you it, which have just been so much fun. We've got them in our Amazon shop, so do check it out. They're very cheap. We bought two for 9.99 and yeah they're just so much fun in the pool and easy to pack too because they just they only got inflatable ends they haven't got it's, not, it's like you can use it like a lilo and that's been awesome i feel it? like i'm on qvc yeah <laughs> Further in the property, there's another swimming pool that is smaller. The majority of it is a lot deeper. It's weird because when you see it, you think that it's obviously that's going to be more for kids. Yeah. But the deepest part is actually deeper than the, than the, the main pool. Yeah. But strangely, it's really hard to get out because it hasn't got any ladders to get out. Yeah. So you have to go right to the shallow end and then, in your best, trying to not look like a beach whale, or roll out onto the exactly. hard surface. But so we've spent most of our time at the, the main pool. But the beauty of this, there's only 54 bungalows within the property, which we're going to go on to in the moment. We're going to show you three different types of accommodation. Um, but the Pools never feel busy, do they? No. We've never had a trouble getting a, uh, a sunbed and it's just been fabulous and we've loved our time at the swimming pool. The grounds at Smile House are really pretty, aren't they? It's a, you almost feel like, because what we love about it is it sort of, it, it's old fashionedness. I know that sounds really strange. It's very sort of oldie worldy. It's all dark wood. It's Thai um, style, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's Thai style, um, and it's almost like you're in like a, a little mini jungle. Yeah. But everything's 
immaculately groomed. There's a gardener, I think there's about eight of them, because everywhere we go, we see this one chap, and he's constantly out doing stuff, chopping stuff down, clipping stuff, picking leaves up. But it's all, and there's trees with beautiful flowers on. Yeah, it's beautiful. And what one thing's great is in the mornings, when you go to breakfast, the flowers off the trees, they use them to decorate stuff in the in the breakfast yeah. room, which is great. But yeah, it's just a beautiful all round surrounding. And I'm sure somebody clever will probably insert maybe like a little video or something just to show you how lovely the grounds are. Well, yeah, yeah I will. <laughs> um, it's t well, the reason I say it's Thai style is that there's more and more modern hotels and modern chains being built built um, all, everywhere around the world isn't there and on Koh Samui yeah. there's a new Holiday Inn that wasn't here last time but what we love about this property is it's Thai style and you really feel like you are staying in Thailand I know that sounds a bit bizarre yeah. but hopefully you'll understand what we're trying to so say now let's talk about food now with our price of our um, accommodation here we stayed in a deluxe figure, figure <laughs> villa which we're going to show you around shortly and it cost us just over 70 pounds a night which we thought was excellent value not bad short, and with that price we got breakfast included so every day we have to just take our little voucher as you can see here and we go over literally over the road to the restaurant there for breakfast now breakfast has been great hasn't it paul it's from 7 30 in the morning till 10 30 and it has a great selection Selection of food. It's got the sort of usual staples of, of bacon, sausages, which are awful by the way, they're a little Well, they do one. chicken sausages <coughs> over here, which yeah. we're not fans of. But but you'll get some hash browns, now and again you'll get some beans. The one day they had garlic and chilli chicken was one of the options. Well every day uh, they have an yeah, Asian yeah. option, so they have, have vegetables yes. and oyster sauce, there's always rice available. Egg fried rice, that sort of stuff. They've got stacks of fruit, some of which I'd never seen the likes of before. They have some little cakes and they've got two coffee machines which does cappuccinos and lattes and stuff like that. There's um, a hot water thing for doing all your different styles of tea. There's juices, there's fresh milk, there's water. Yes. There's an egg station which will do you omelettes of many different sorts, whatever filling you want. Uh, they do fried eggs, they do scrambled eggs, and they also do to order poached eggs and boiled eggs. Yes. There's a, and obviously there's a machine that does your toast with lots of different sorts of bread. Um, it's just a, if there isn't something there for you, well, Yes, I don't know what and there's a lovely ge gentleman and lady that be in there every morning and they seem to work all the hours that God sends, isn't it? So we've been very, very happy at breakfast and, and can't fault it at no, all, can we? Right. So that's great that that's included in your price. So let's talk about having dinner at the Smile House uh, at their restaurant. Now, if you're uh, a resident here, like we are, then you have 15% off. And this is any time you go there. So you can go there more than once. It's just not a one-off voucher. Now, we've eaten here once on Valentine's night. And there were some really positive things, but there were also things that didn't work well for us. No. Now, food-wise, I had a, a chicken in garlic pepper and a plate of Morning Glory. I love fried Morning Glory. And it was absolutely delicious. Poor starter prawns weren't as good as you had elsewhere, were they? I had tempura prawn. And when they came out, it was the biggest portion I'd seen since of all that have you been following our posts, I like Mr. Prawn. And when I started, I started from right to left, and as I was eating, I thought, oh my god, this is like the best prawns ever. I think there was eight or nine, but by the time I got to sort of number five, is like they started going down downhill, and you could physically see the change in the batter and it was getting more doughy and the batter was getting thicker and by the last one which you'll be shocked to hear i didn't even want to eat the last one but i had but the first four were exceptional and then they just sort of went down and it was like they sort of lost interest halfway through and thought oh, well that'll do but i have to say i had a beef masaman which is the first beef masaman i've had since i've been here and it was fabulous. Mm. All eight of us ate here and everyone's meal, they thoroughly, thoroughly yeah. enjoyed, didn't they? So the standard food was great. Sadly, on Valentine's night, it was exceptionally busy. Um, the service was a bit impersonal. It was very chaotic and at times very slow, wasn't yeah. it? Um, which was a shame. To be fair, uh, at Smile House, you also get a 10% service charge and a 7% tax, which the voucher that we had for 15% did counteract that. Um, but for us, it wasn't our favourite place to have dinner um, no. on the, along there. It's quite expensive. Paul's main was £8.50. Uh, mine was about £6, wasn't it? And you can get far cheaper and same standard meals further down the strip, um, say at Eden, um, at Positive Vibes and... 
um, some other fabulous Nirvana. restaurants. Nirvana, yeah. Uh, Aroy D. Aroy D, yeah. yeah. So many good restaurants in Fisherman's Village. Um, so would we go have our dinner at Smile House again? No, we wouldn't. Uh, which is a shame because the food was good. It was just very chaotic yeah. and, uh, and you were just disappointed with the prawns. And just to give you a little heads up about the drinks prices too, um, Paul's been drinking small bottles of Singer that um, the 110 baht here. Further down the strip, you can get it for 80, 90 baht. And my wine was 220 baht, uh, and I can find wine out here uh, for 150 baht, which is um, wine isn't cheap in Thailand. No. But, but uh, obviously, do bear in mind, obviously, that the drinks here are far dearer, and that's before you put the, the tax on the tax and the yeah. service charge on. Because even if you have a beer, they still put 10% service charge on, which um, only one other place we've been to has put a service charge on. Every other place they leave it entirely up to you to tip and obviously you tip as you feel as exactly you know, but we've we haven't had bad service anywhere have we really to be no fast. we've had fast and yeah and uh, yeah nothing to add about that no. is there really so let's go on to accommodation and show you these fantastic uh well three types of accommodation that you can find at smile house Right then, so let's start with our deluxe villa, which we've spent the last 14 nights in. And Paul's going to let us in. But let me show you this area first, which is a lovely little veranda, which has got a drying um, a dryer, plus all your towels can be dried out here, which has worked really well. Comfortable sh chairs. And there he is. So let's show you Swadika. around. Swadika, yeah. So look at this. This has been a fantastic size for our stay uh, here at Smile House. Really, really big and you'll see um the differences in sizes of the the superior superior bungalow and the um rooms the double rooms that we're going to show you shortly so let's start in this corner then paulie so tv wise tv wise um there was bad that was followed by good because when we got it our, our telly didn't work at all but we went to reception but they sent somebody straight out Bought this slightly smaller telly to replace it, but it's brand spanking new. And what's great about it is it's a smart TV. So it's got Netflix, it's got Amazon Prime. So if you've got Netflix or Amazon Prime at home, you can sign into it and use your accounts from home. Exactly. Which, which we've used because it's been great. There is a, a box which has got some channels on, but it's not great. No. There's a few English channels, but mostly... Yeah, um, it's, it, everything's and important. we haven't watched a lot no, of television. It's no. literally when we come in after a night out and watch the film or something, isn't yeah. it? But it's been been fine for been that. Fine. And then you've got your coffee and tea station. You do get if you use it, they will replace it every day. But they only give you two tea bags and two coffees. It's, it's like an all-in-one coffee, yeah, coffee Nest Cafe, all-in-one. But as you can see at the back here, you've got plenty of plugs that, that accept flat and round pin. So that's been really useful. Here you've got your key uh, that you must put in so that your aircon works. And the aircon's worked brilliantly, hasn't fabulous. it, Paulie? You've got a fridge. If you're on your the big padlocks. Oh, right? yes. On the outside, you can lock your door by pressing your button in there. Yeah. But also, there's a big padlock as well, so it's very, very secure. Yeah. And you've got a safety chain as well, haven't you, at night, if you want to pop that on. Not that we've had any problems whatsoever, it's been lovely. Good size fridge. Yes. And you get uh, two of this size bottle of water every, every, day. every day, complimentary. Yep, you do. And then you've got like a little chair and a uh, coffee table area. And then you've got a little desk, which I've used for, for working, with two drawers. And another plug, as you can see, which is flat or pin on the side. And you've also got a hairdryer. What's the, in this room? Nothing. Nothing. No. And then if you come to the wardrobe, you'll see that there's plenty and plenty of storage. Not a huge amount of hangers, we always bring our own, but the safe has been fantastic. It's large and it's really uh, deep, so it gets your large laptops in yes, no definitely. problem at all. There's also um, more now, cupboards at the top, which I is, can't reach, but poorly can. This is what I like to call the dangerous cupboards, <laughs> because... You're guaranteed, almost guaranteed, to leave something behind in these cupboards. Yeah. And we almost did it ourselves because I put 
I both our got, sweatshirts. Got our hoodies and I got some tracksuit bottoms. I yeah, used to Paul and Carol hoodies. And Carol said right at the last minute, have you cleared that top? I know, can you imagine? So mm -hmm. yeah, so there's loads of stories in there. Yeah. But it should be reserved for tall people because you could look at I had to stand on the bed to make sure there was nothing left. Exactly. In there. And then you've got an area here where you've there's two umbrellas that are provided. It does get sherry in Costa Mui, you know, it's pretty tropical, so it's great to have some umbrellas here. And you've got another sort of case and shelf thing there. The bed's been so comfortable, Paul hasn't it it's been really really comfortable and behind each um lamp here you've got some more plugs so we've slept really really well haven't we it's been uh, been very very comfortable and then we come to our bathroom now the bathroom's been okay but wait till you see the other um accommodations that we're going to show you because this is the worst bathroom out of all of them isn't it Paulie? well the irony is and you'll be able to judge for yourself the cheapest accommodation of the three that we've had spread amongst our friends and family has got the best shower yeah the best bathroom by far but don't give too much away because well, they'll be watching that shortly to watch it because we're going to go in order of price exactly now, this one costs 1100 pounds for two weeks but that includes breakfast that includes obviously your two bottles of water a day you can have your room cleaned every day if you require you just put your armory thing out on the door uh, the middle one cost 1040 pounds for two weeks that's and a double room with balcony. That's a double room with balcony and then the cheapest one which will be the last one we show you is 950 pounds for two weeks yeah exactly that but back to the bathroom we've had um products provided which are fine but they're only small so i always recommend that we well i always bring my own because my hair's so long and needs conditioning etc but the shower's been a great size but for paul it's not really been high enough has it it's, it's too low but it's been fine uh, but not brilliant i think it was a double-edged sword carol would have showed you on the balcony that there's a clothes dryer but the trouble is because of the humidity clothes doesn't dry particularly well on that where clothes does dry really well is in this room because if you shut that door yeah. up and you go out it's like an oven here so what we've been doing is we've actually put, been putting our clothes dryer here in the shower which means that when i use the shower if it's like this it's not too bad so i can almost get under it but because if i use it like that it gets all our washing Wet. yeah so i put it down so i do have to bend down a bit so it's a sort of south yeah it has been humid the towels yeah. and that have dried well though yeah. there aren't they but some clothes but as you can see it, it's adequate we wouldn't say it's the best bathroom we've had in the world at all no but and, it, and, oh, ooh, oh. and if you're wondering if you've never been to thailand and you're wondering what this little fella's for why is there a shower by the side of the toilet that's to wash that's to wash your bottom when you've um, <laughs> had a had a number two. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. And it, it is, is to brilliant. clean the toilet it's too. It's to clean the toilet but too. But Paul has been enjoying but his um it, uh, little bum gun. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the deluxe villa. Now let's go and show you around a um a double room, is it Paulie? Double, double room, room with, with balcony. balcony. Right then, our friends have been staying in a double room with balcony. So let's show you around. As you can see, they've got a lovely terrace here, which is attached to the next uh, room, with a strange man sitting there who's too shy to wave. <laughs> ah, anyway, let's Get show. On with it. Ah, let's go in. Now, first thing to notice about um, these rooms is there's lots of steps. As you can see, as we go into the main um, bedroom here, sleeps three. As you can see, big double bed and a single bed here which they're using the same as what we are aren't we just for for storage but behind the um lamps you'll see there's plenty of plug sockets that accommodate the flat or the round pin as you can see here and there's one the other side of the bed and also by the tv as you'll see there where they got their uh, mosquito repellent plugged in like ours so tv here uh, air con as you can see there so the rooms are lovely and lovely and cool aren't they Paul the air con they works are. works very well and you obviously you'll see straight away the difference is where ours is very sort of traditionally Thai this has still got elements of Thai to it but there's far less dark wood yeah still lovely though still nice yeah and in this corner there Paulie just pulls that out a little bit you'll see there's more plugs down there yeah, the, it's just behind the shoe rack. Uh, you've got a torch and obviously your uh, remote control for your aircon and your key. So, um, so that's good. 
here you've got the like the kitchen area where you've got so two umbrellas you've got your beach towels and your bath towels and you've got a fridge a kettle you can see popped in there in the in the corner snacks from the local if you need snacks there's plenty of little 7-elevens and uh, little mini marts isn't there but just they literally around the corner the room. they don't come around the, the room no you don't get any biscuits or any snacks but you do get as you can see just your coffee but like we said with our room review we bring our own so you've got a, a long wardrobe here with a hairdryer in the bottom and you've got another step here into the bathroom uh, which you can see is a really, really good size. Now, what they've got in their bathroom is actually a fan, which we haven't got, have we, probably? No. But it's got a lot, a lot of um, floor space, and they've got actually a glass door here and a little shelf there to put their stuff on. So, in, in essence, uh, this bathroom is, uh, is a little bit more modern than ours, isn't and it? what you'll notice the difference as well is I can stand in here quite happily but within our, our shower, only comes to about there. Often. Yeah. So this bathroom would suit me better. It's not the end of the world. No. It would just suit me better. But no sense, like I said, really nice and spacious. But the only criticism is that criticism is there's too many steps. Yes. When the guys first came in here, they're like, oh my gosh, we've tripped up a couple of times. So if you have got mobility issues or you have difficulty with steps, then it is something to think about uh, with this type of, of room or uh, well, double room, isn't it? You've got a big safe. Sorry, oh, Paul has just, just remembered something, so hasn't no, it? Just, so there's a step into the shower, step up. A step little one, step, yeah. One, two, two three. 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 Five lots of there's five Four. different levels in one in one five apartment. yeah. But uh, Nat and I have been happy here, haven't they? Yeah. It's uh, it's worked well for the two weeks. So that is a tour of a. Come on, Annie, you can double do room with balcony, balcony at Smile House. <clears throat> now let's go and show you a superior bungalow. Right then, so my sister has been staying in a superior bungalow, which is the cheapest accommodation in Smile House. So we're going to take you around there now and show you exactly what you get for your money. As you can see from the balcony here, the chairs are slightly different than ours, aren't they? They're more sort of deck chair recliners and you don't have the footstools. But the space on the balcony is much the same. But check this out, because this is a really, really good size. And this cost uh, £10 less a day than ours, wasn't it, Paulie? Yes. Now, the difference is, is you can have a a good sort of pan around here is the distance from the front this is right at the back of the property which is why um it's it's less money so it's not about the facilities in the room as you'll see as our as we show you as we go around so here's um jane's sort of drinking station so she's she been here on her own and every day they deliver two bottles of water and she's got a fridge full and those on the side so exactly the same as what we have in our our room so um kettle and obviously coffee and tea facilities you've got the torch if you need it and obviously you've got your key that goes in the slot to make the aircon work which is just over here now the aircon in here actually faces the bed where ours is sort of side on isn't it Paulie? yes yeah, so it's a better it's a better idea it is that. really but, um, with our in our room the air condition is not there because that's where the wardrobe is. Yes. And this hasn't got a wardrobe as in a standalone wardrobe. It's like a walk-in wardrobe, yeah. which we'll do in a moment. But you'll see here that by the size of the beds, uh, you've got plugs exactly the same that get round pin or or flat pin. You've got a bed here, which is so three people can sleep in this type of bungalow. Uh, you've got the wooden effect, which is always lovely. And you've got a, a TV with remote here. And a lot of decks, a lot more desk desk space. space yeah which is great so if we walk here we'll show you into the walk-in wardrobe which has a lot of hanging room not for long dresses but for short but loads and loads of storage and a and a safe here and also a hairdryer which we haven't got in our room but no. i'm sure if we'd asked um, at reception they would have given it to us and then going into the bathroom look at this you've got one little step in and it's a really, really decent size. And Nat and Al's, wasn't it, that had the door on the shower? This one hasn't got a door, but it's open plan like ours. But a really, really big um, big space with a shelf in. So this shower is, is better than in our uh, deluxe villa. Well, it is because this has got a side arm as well. So yeah. It's a big rain shower. And obviously, if you cast your mind back to when you see our 
room tour, I have to bend down my hand yeah. in the shower rod. So lots of pros and cons for all these different types of, of bungalows at Smile House. Um, yeah, but the facilities here, everyone has been happy in their room, haven't they, poorly? So uh, that's all the accommodation at Smile House. It is. I'm just going to add this one last thing. If this room was where our room is, I'd go for this one every time. Yes. Because I think it's... I really like the layout. Yeah, and the, the shower. Bathroom. And the shower. Yeah, so, but uh, like I say, have you seen all three types um, yeah. that we've shown you? And you can make your choice. But right, so that's our review of Smile House. We hope you found that useful. We are going to Vietnam tomorrow, and we are so excited because we're doing our first Mekong River Cruise with Amma Waterways. So make sure you're subscribed and uh, come and follow us there because we are so excited about that, aren't we, we Paul? We are indeed. If you've enjoyed this video, why not watch one of these videos next?